Hello there, and welcome to another RaiderPower.com mailbag. I'm your humble servant, Jared Johnson, and let's dive right into the questions because we have a lot to get to this week. Um, OBX Raider, we're going to start off with a question from him. He wants to know about Tech's 2014 preferred walk-on kicker, Clayton Hatfield, uh, Army All-American. He actually, uh, within the last month, most of you probably know, uh, tweeted out a picture of some mail he received from from UT and his excitement about that. Um, uh, Scout.com Midlands recruiting analyst Stephen, uh, Annabelle Stephan uh, caught up with him and got his reaction his, uh, with the story. I'll, I'll provide the link to that and uh, has kept in contact with him. But the latest is that he still plans to attend Texas Tech. Texan40 has a question about Tech's 2014 uh, quarterback signee, Patrick Mahomes, uh, the two-sport athlete who uh, has expressed his desire and his plan to play both football and baseball at Tech. Um, he is also considered by many to be one of the top uh, pro baseball prospects in the state. Uh, but Texan40 wants to know if I think the success of Tech's base, the early success of Tech's baseball program this year will help uh, possibly help sway Mahomes to, to in fact honor his uh, uh, letter of intent and and stick with with Tech. Um, honestly, uh, you know I don't think it will it will uh, sway him at all. I think he fully plans on attending Texas Tech and playing both sports. Um, I think it's just going to be cut and cut and dry whether or not the you know how how high he gets drafted and whether or not this, the deal is just too sweet for him to turn down. Of course, there's always the possibility that he'll do a Bradley Marquez and do both, where he, uh, if he's drafted by the right organization and he's not drafted too high where the money's you know too much, that uh, he can do both, play football in the fall and do spring with Tech, and then, um, but then obviously not play baseball for Tech in, in the summer, uh, play baseball for whoever drafts him. But I have seen uh, Patrick... He has tweeted out uh, a bunch of Raider Power updates covering Tech baseball and its success uh, so far this year and tweeted out, uh, you know, retweeted some of my tweets. So he's definitely noticed and he's definitely paying attention. TTU Gunslinger84 wants to know about some of the players who I believe both on offense and defense will step up, some players who didn't really play last year for Tech that could, uh, could have a huge spring. And you know, obviously, translate to next next fall. Um, there's a couple of guys, yeah, on both sides of the ball, uh, especially on defense. I'm uh, really interested in. Well, let's start with offense. Uh, to me, and I've, I've said this in a couple of stories, or at least one. Uh, Tony Morales, um, he's a you know center uh, or guard. Um, I'm really, really curious to see first if he could stay healthy because he hadn't been able to do that yet, and second of all, what kind of player he is at this level. I mean. I, you know, covered him when he was in Arlington, Sam Houston, when he was a four-star prospect. And I know a lot of Tech fans were expecting a lot out of him when he signed as part of that 2011 class. Um, so I'm really anxious to see how he does this spring, um, to see how he does in the scrimmages, and um, if he can, uh, you know, really vie for that starting center spot or maybe even one of the, the guard spots. Um, another guy uh, on offense, obviously, you know, Devin Lauderdale, um, obviously, he didn't play for Tech last year because he was at Navarro. He's an early enrollee. I've already heard after the first day of spring practice his name brought up by Davis Webb and some some of the other coaches um, or some of the coaches. Uh, I you know I, I think he can be an explosive playmaker for Tech, but I want to see it with my own eyes against uh, you know Tech's defense against a D1 defense. Um, let's see another guy on offense, <sighs> Dylan Cantrell. It's another guy, you know, we we only got to see him play a little bit last year. He did play in like 11 games, but, I mean, he didn't get a lot of, a lot of run on offense. And when he did, he performed. So I want to see what he can do this this, this spring. I'm going over defense because that's really where I want to see. Um, I mean, there are a lot of guys. I want to see how Keelan uh, McElrath, I want to see how he performs. Obviously, he's hurt. I'm very disappointed in that. He has that foot fracture, and he's going to miss the first half of spring. But I want to see – you know, what kind of game he has. I want to see him go up against Tech's offensive line in the scrimmage. And obviously, he won't be hitting quarterbacks. <laughs> he better not be hitting Davis Webb. But, uh, you know, I want to see if he has it, you know, um, if, if, he, if he'll be ready to go in the fall. Um, uh, linebacker, I want to see uh, VJ Fajoko. I want to see if he's going to be able to uh, 
to contribute you know on the field i know he's going to be a good locker room guy because everybody across the board uh says that that's you know he's just the, the best locker room guy but i want to see if he's going to be able to provide that run support and then in the past obviously the past happy big 12 is he going to be able to hold up in, you know in pass defense is he going to be able to hang with slot receivers when need be at least in some zone coverages or is he going to be able to hang with some some tight ends that he might face uh in the in the big 12 and then in the secondary i want to see everybody even some of the guys who did play i mean you look at even jj Gaines. you know uh, you know he's, he's going to be limited in spring but i want to see what you know will he be back to where he was before he was injured last year um you know justice nelson yeah he did play at the end of the year but you know he's only a freshman last this year in 2013 is he going to be able to uh to progress uh, I mean, go on to Tyler Middleton, who moved over to corner. I want to see what, what he has. I've heard a lot about Jalen Barnes at safety. Um, I want to see what kind of player he can be. If he if he's a starting caliber safety, Josh Keyes, another midterm enrollee. Um, you know, I want to see if he could live up to the high from all the, you know, uh, almost 20 offers he had from big-time uh, colleges all over the country. Uh, I mean, keep keep on going. Go down the roster. Everybody on defense, I want to see – what exactly tech has and i'm not alone um if you talk to different guys of the coaching staff you get different answers on who's going to play because they honestly don't know what they have right now they're trying to figure it out too next question is from john galt for tt he wants to know it's a recruiting question all right he wants to know about malik jefferson and with him attending Junior Day a couple weekends ago, just how big of an event was that? How big of a deal is it to get a prospect like Malik Jenkins in? Um, and does Tech have a shot? Well, to answer the first part of the question, uh, your first question, it's ginormous to get a guy like uh, Malik Jefferson. I don't know when the last time, honestly, Tech had a guy of that caliber. I mean, he's the number one uh, recruit in Texas, the number one linebacker in the country, the number one player in the Midlands region. Um, one of the top prospects in the country by any, every recruiting service, of course, in, including scout.com. Uh, so, yes, that was just to get him on cam- on campus. I mean, to use a car salesman analogy, I mean, a car salesman is not going to sell anybody a car who doesn't test drive the car. So <laughs> Tech's not going to get anybody to sign who doesn't visit the campus. So that was huge. Um, from what he tweeted out, it seemed like he enjoyed his visit. He wouldn't be visiting if he wasn't genuinely interested. Obviously, with him being such a big-time recruit, there's, there's going to be a, a lot of competition for his services. But, yes, Tech has a legitimate shot of, of landing him. They just got to do it. Close the deal. So, last question. Agra Raider, another recruiting question, wants to know, uh, how close Tech is to landing any other 2015 commits? And if so, whom? Well, I tell you, obviously, Jared St- quarterback Jared Stidham is on everybody's radar. Uh, I spoke with him on Saturday uh, before his visit to Tech on Sunday about where he was in his recruitment overall, how much he really was considering Tech, and what his timetable was. And instead of act acting like a filter as I normally do on the on the mailbags I'm going to at the end of this add on some of that some audio from our uh, interview on Saturday but some of the other guys uh, another a guy I'm hearing a lot of from uh, Gabe Brooks uh, one of our Midland recruiting analysts is wide receiver offer Kiki Kuti from Lufkin is a guy who is really 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 high on on tech and then you have uh, guys, some of the other guys that I'm really looking at is Skyline defensive tackle, uh, Zach Abercrombie. I always want to call him Abercrombie. Zach Abercrombie, I know he's been high on tech for a long time, but his recruitment is really blowing up. So I think a lot of the guys that tech were on early, guys are really start. those guys are starting to blow up. So I think... It's definitely going to be a case where they're going to weigh their options. 
Um, now, that being said, this spring is going to be huge for tech. I am fully expecting to hear at least a handful of booms or see a handful of booms this spring. If you look at last year, the 2014 class, they had a couple of commits uh, going into spring ball, and they had Jakari Diller for a long time and, and uh, Justin Stockton, the running back. But really, the spring is when it started to pick up. As a matter of fact, on spring day, on, on the spring game, um, on April 20th last year, they picked up commitments from Patrick Mahomes, their four-star quarterback, Ian Sadler, their four-star, four-star wide receiver, and uh, Cameron Batson. Sorry, the four, the, the uh, Oklahoma, the Gatorade Oklahoma Player of the Year, uh, another wide receiver, an all-around really good player. Um, and then the next day they got uh, another commitment from cornerback Alabama cornerback Tevin Madison. So I'm really expecting around April 12th is the spring game after when those uh, 2015 recruits come through and they see the spring game, they get wowed by all the, all the uh, excitement surrounding that. I'm really expecting to hear, hear and see a lot of booms. So that's going to do it for this week. As I previously said, I'm going to leave you with some audio with uh, Saturday's interview with Jarrett Stidham. Thanks for joining me. Everyone seems to think that you're really close uh, with Tech. I mean, how high is Tech? Is Tech really, really up there uh, with with your top schools? Cause, uh, oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Who who all's in the mix? Is it still the same schools as it has been, or, or who all's in the mix for you? Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's still a uh, yeah, pretty good mix of all different schools, but uh, I mean, Tech is for sure up there. All right, who who are some other schools that are up there with you? Up there with Tech. Uh, Yeah. 